Hey guys, so this time I decided to make a battery organizer and uh, I got the plan from uh, an old wood magazine and uh, set pretty much to the, to, the, uh, to the plan that they had. I think I made my backing maybe a little bit bigger. Um, but it's, it's a pretty, pretty easy little project to make. I did it in a few hours. You can certainly do it in an afternoon. And uh, you know, I just didn't mind to actually hang on a pegboard. So uh, if you want to check out my uh, website at woodlogger.com, um, there's more pictures and details on how, how I made this. And uh, here's the video of, of what I did. So when it came to the rough cuts, uh, I used uh, half inch stock for uh, all of my boards. And uh, each of the uh, battery uh, compartments, uh, the length is eight inches for uh, each of the uh, compartments. And um, so this is, you know, me just sort of cutting into those boards. And then for the width, uh, all the boards are two and a half inches. So I'll do a, um, I cut right here to, to achieve that. There are spacers though in between each of the uh, compartments and I don't show that on the video but uh, those have different different lengths depending on on the battery sizes so the uh, obviously the AAA batteries have a, a much smaller um, spacer than say the D battery or the C batteries. So um, this was you know, really pretty straightforward uh, cutting. And then uh, for the uh, front, I just used a, a clear uh, plexiglass acrylic um, piece. And actually, was, I was lucky I had some scrap, but you can pick that up at uh, a lot of the hobby stores. For the uh, finished cuts, um, really, th this is just um, a cut that's to make the uh, make it easier so that you can get your fingers in there to, to pull the batteries out. And uh, I used a, a two-inch uh, Forstner bit to do this, but you could certainly do a, you know, a band saw or even a scroll saw since the, um, the wood is so thin. For the assembly, um, the first thing I did was um, I actually sort of laid out all of the pieces on top of the, uh, the backboard. And I did that so that I could, I could uh, draw lines on the back of the piece so that when I actually go to um, glue them up here in a little bit, um, it would make it a lot easier to uh, shoot brads to the back of the to the back of the board, and uh, I'll have that matched up to the actual um, dividers that I have here. So uh, really, it's just a it's a time saver and uh, trying to make it a little bit easier on myself to do that. So. Uh, as far as you know, actually, you know, gluing things up, um, I wanted to attach the uh, dividers to the bottom board, and I still wanted to use the back as as a guide. And since um, there's a little bit of a lip between the bottom board and the back, um, I I didn't want any glue to bleed through until I was ready for that. So that's why you see the wax paper there, uh, just protecting the um, that back plywood. And uh, really, really straightforward. If, if you don't have, uh, you know, um, a brad nailer, you could, you know, certainly use screws here or even finish nails. Um, but if you have a brad nailer, boy, it sure, sure makes it go a lot faster. And uh, I don't know if you can see the dividers that I'm, I'm sort of spacing in between each one of these. When I get to the uh, the D compartment. Um, there actually is no divider and the reason why is just because of the size of the battery is so much larger than the others there is no uh, there is no back that it has to run up to so it actually it uses the uh, the back of the panel to uh, use its its I guess backing and uh, that's why you'll see me sort of start on the other end now uh, lining that up for the uh, the 9 volt compartment So uh, after I had all of this uh, sort of glued up and, and secured with brads, um, I did go ahead and put clamps, um, just a single clamp on kind of both sides of uh, that space where there's no divider, and uh, just let it set for uh, 
I don't know, a couple hours until the uh, the glue set up. So uh, this is my this is the uh, the compartment minus having the back on it, and um, you know I decided to to just use glue sparingly since I was going to use Brad's to uh, help secure it, um, but I did put a little bit of glue on there just to reinforce it. And uh, I don't think it shows in the video very well, but but I, I do have lines on the back there so I can actually see where to shoot Brad's at um, for. You know, so that they actually go into each of the uh, the battery compartment dividers. So then, uh, next up was um, you know putting the the front the front face of it on, and I I did pre drill. Um, all four holes um, uh, on the you know each of the corners to uh, prevent the uh, piece from cracking or breaking. And uh, if you look at the plan from uh, Wood Magazine that I've attached to uh, the link on my website woodlogger.com, you can see the various sizes that uh, that it recommends. And I I did try and stick to that for the most part. And then, uh, you know, just peel off the uh, the piece. I did have a, a little bit of sawdust that kept sort of clinging to the acrylics. I uh, tried to just kind of wipe that off as best as I could. And um, as far as the uh, the screws to actually hold the uh, piece down, the plan actually called for a, a number eight wood screws. And when I started to put uh, the first screw in. It looked like the like the plastic was cracking a little more than I felt comfortable with. I mean, you're going to see a little bit of cracking just because of the nature of what it is, but um, I opted to use number six screws instead. So uh, that's the final piece right there, and uh, you know it was really a pretty easy project. Only took me a, a, a few hours to make the whole thing. And uh, if you want to check out, you know, more pictures of how I did this or more information as well as links to uh, a plan from uh, Wood Magazine, uh, go over to my website at woodlogger.com.